Chicago middle linebacker Dick Butkus, number 51, is football's most fierce competitor. A man who is able to generate so much enthusiasm within himself that on every play, every member of the opposing team becomes a marked man, eligible to become a part of the Butkus experience. But of all his inspired performances, it would be difficult to recall anyone more inspired than last Sunday's against the Detroit Lions. This was the second meeting of the season for the two clubs. Detroit won the first game at home, but now in Wrigley Field, the Butkus-led Bears made any hopes of a similar outcome painful ones indeed. So ferocious was the hitting that lion ball carriers resembled men dancing through a cow pasture at midnight. As they had done in the first game, the Bears took a 7-0 first quarter lead on a pass from Jack Concannon, number 11, to Dick Gordon, number 45. But as also happened in the first game, the Bears began making mistakes that eventually cost them the game. The Lions recovered a fumble to nullify a second quarter drive and intercepted three passes to provide themselves with scoring opportunities. Wayne Rasmussen got one in the third quarter that led to one of three Arrow Man field goals. As the fourth quarter began, Bill Munson, number 19, found Earl McCullough, number 25, deep in the end zone and the Lions got the lead 13-7. Both the teams then exchanged field goals to create the 16-10 outcome. But the fact that the Lions had won left at least one man looking for an explanation. 